the IRS has been challenging a lot of conservation easement partnerships. <clears throat> and it's not going well for them overall. They are not really winning. There was a while where back to 2014-15 where they were finding some technical faults in some of the projects or some gray areas. They were finding certain areas that were leading to certain, I would call them adjustments. There was some completely bogus ones, but you have bogus deductions in any area. There were some people trying to take advantage of things and some people were using land that doesn't even exist. Some people were using land that doesn't even cook close to qualify. Some people didn't even and have close to the amount of documentation they needed to get through it. But that being said, there's been a lot of heat on them lately, but the heat has also allowed a lot of people that are competent that are doing these projects to iron out any wrinkles that they might need to and we've learned from, from cases and, and just in the profession in general, the AICPA and whatever's going around, and lots of legal sort of publications as to kind of what the IRS has been targeting and why they're targeting and how the court system has seen it, et cetera, et cetera.